Hi everyone, who's this creepy person? <laughs> creepy eyeball. He's um he's come home to babysit the children, except they're already fed and bathed and asleep. So thanks for that. Thanks for coming home right in time for me to do everything. Hi, hi everyone. Oh my gosh, honestly, is this really gonna be going away from me? Mm-hmm. Okay, who's got their tea? Has anyone got tea? I do. This one is um, peppermint and licorice. Licorice is my new favorite right now. I love it. It's so um, delicious. I don't know how else to say it. It's delicious. And this What's is. <laughs> Honestly, this is really. <laughs> is there any dinner at all? There's some, there's some that salad in the fridge. Cause we, me and the kids, had sausages on bread. That would have been lovely. That would have been nice to be offered that. Yeah, thanks. First live. Yes, it is. Had my Indian chai a while ago. Yes. Thank you for joining me. This is my first YouTube live. You've never tried herbal tea until you started watching me oh now you love it that's so great welcome to the herbal tea gang it's the best it's my favorite i i went on this um no sugar thing um maybe like five or six months ago my husband guy and i tried no sugar no carbs in this whole thing um and that's when i really started getting into the herbals because i didn't have sugar anymore in my tea so Okay, what are my favourites? My favourites are licorice. I know that's not for everyone, um, but that's my favourite right now. And peppermint I love, chamomile I love. Um, what else do I love? Hmm, it's all the ones I really love. Um, oh, thank you. You're very kind to me. So, did anyone watch the... Um, Tea, uh, tea with Jules with Rachel Finch. How good is she? She is so amazing. She's so inspiring. I was so inspired by our chat that I wanted to come on and talk to you guys about it. Because she is just like a Wonder Woman. She's a mum of two, like me. Is anybody else out there a mother? Or planning on being a mother? Because I got some really good tips from her on how to um, remain calm and um, how to just do one thing at one time even though everybody needs something at the same time she gave some great tips on um, on how to just you know sort of focus on one thing focus on the priority what needs to get done first and then everything else can just follow along from there to take a breath and to not be overwhelmed um, and the other thing that she actually said um, if you wanted to know some tips is because I, I think I asked her what what makes her stressed or what makes her you know worried and anxious and overwhelmed she said she doesn't like to use the word stressed she likes to use the word full which I thought was very very good because how many times do we Get around and we're like I'm so stressed out um, but it makes you feel it actually makes you feel even more stressed when you start saying I'm so stressed so I think that was a really really good way to look at it to to say okay, my life is very full right now there's a lot to be done um, and just take a breath and do one thing at one time how old are my kids my kids um, I have Hudson who is five turning six in March, and Archie, who is three, turning four in April. So they're pretty, pretty small right now. Um, we've been swimming all day with friends, so they were absolutely wrecked and thankfully fell asleep pretty fast tonight. Um, so yeah, it's been a big day, but I think that's that would be my greatest tip. I have boys. So my greatest tip is to just run them ragged. 
just absolutely run them ragged during the day and then you get a chance to go to sleep at night time um because i also had my niece with me who's also five today and the difference between the boys and the girls is just worlds apart um my niece indy she's so chilled and so happy just to kind of sit down and play with her toys and play with her barbies and play with you know coloring in and just really cool calm collected and um my boys can do that for maybe 15 seconds before they're bored of that and they're up and running and racing and going and doing and running everywhere so yeah that was interesting to see today the difference between the boys and the girls playing how do i keep up reading habits that's a great question because i would like to know from you how you keep up your reading habits <laughs> um honestly since i had babies it it's very kind of low down on the priority list um not the priority list because i there's a million books that I am desperate to read um, but I think what's kind of helped me is podcasts and books that you can listen to because there are certain moments of the day like when I've dropped the kids off at school and preschool that I can drive away to wherever I'm headed next and just pop on a podcast or pop on a book that I want to listen to and um, I can just sort of read books that way um which you know it's not the same as having a physical book in your hand but it's better than nothing it's better than nothing how do i keep motivated and keep positive good question um i truly think over the last six months or so um exercising has definitely helped pick up my mood and pick up my energy and pick up my motivation before before that i i guess i was just super tired and busy and full my life was full and um, i had a lot going on all the time and i just i thought that i just couldn't fit in exercise into everything until i just made it a priority and i scheduled it into the diary and I made myself go to the gym and it was really 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 hard at first but um once I once I did it and I scheduled it in and I turned up and I did it um I found that I started to feel better about myself I started to have a lot more energy and that in turn sort of had a run on, on effect and a positive effect on the rest of my life and I, that sounds very dramatic um yeah but it really did was the start of really keep, keeping me motivated and um pushing me a little bit forward because i think when you don't exercise you just sort of choose the alternative which is not exercising sitting down um eating some chocolate drinking some wine um getting really comfortable and just you know that that's when your mind i think starts to you sort of start to get a little bit down on yourself and you're like well you know i've pulled on a couple of kilograms i'm just not feeling good about myself anymore and it sort of starts to spiral and spiral spiral and then you can't find the time and then you're tired you have to go to work and you've got the kids there's so many things that are going on and you just tell yourself that that's it okay well you know i'm a mom now or this is my wave and this is what I look like so I'm just going to accept that and be okay with that um, but you don't have to you actually can get on the train and you can start small you can start with 10 minutes you can go for a walk outside or find a gym go to the treadmill walk the dog take the kids to the park whatever it is just to get your body moving and those little 10 minutes will turn into 15 will turn into 20 will turn into whatever it is that you need um so i would say exercise is keeping me motivated and um also to having guy um uh, my husband we kind of jumped on that that fitness train at the same time so it was really good to have each other to keep each other motivated <clears throat> um because if he was doing it then i thought you know okay well i have to go 
and we kind of cleared out all the the bad food in the house and only started buying good things bringing that into the house just not having the chocolate in the cupboard um that really helps and yeah having someone who's who keeps you accountable and motivated is really 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 good um, what's my favorite color my favorite color is blue all sorts of blue i really really like blue if I ever feel the need to get out for a while and leave the boys with Guy and take time for yourself. Oh yes, I do. Of course, of course. Um, yeah, totally. I, I, I think it's really important that you take time out for yourself. And um, I mean, when when you've got you know two little humans that need you and are asking you things constantly and. I mean, they they will they will do nothing if if you let them. They will literally let you serve them till the day they leave the house. Um, so I think it's important to refuel yourself and to give back to yourself a little bit. Um, my times are normally when the kids are at school, so they're at the age now. Hudson's at big school and. Um, Archie's in preschool a couple of days a week so those couple of days I get to um, mostly I, I try and fit in all my work into those hours but I also do things like go to the gym or if I need to get my nails done I go and get my nails done or if there's a friend I haven't seen in a while go go catch up for a coffee um, or a cup of tea um, and yeah those are the, those are the little things and it doesn't have to be a full day of pampering or a weekend away um, it's those little things you do just um, to kind of keep you going to the next time that you get a little bit of a break it can be as simple as that yes it can be I know even a podcast like even in the car when I'm driving along I love Super Soul Sunday um, Oprah's one uh, where there's just so many amazing human beings that she talks to and I always find if I put that on that'll motivate me and I'll be all fired up and like yeah I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that and, um yeah that that helps keep me motivated too um yes yeah, someone just said I'd love to take a nap like Rachel Finch she said you know just when the babies are asleep just lay down and take a nap and I was like, yeah, but I want to clean things and I need to like make the bed or I need to make the lunches or whatever it is. Um, but she's right, just servicing yourself for a little second, taking a little, she said, she even said run the bath. Run the bath. There's a novel and brilliant idea. You know what I've got? I've got those big giant um, bath tea bags, bath bags, bath tea bags. I don't know. But they're sort of like gigantic they look like this but you put it in the bath and it's full of i don't think it's tea um it's not it can't be tea it must be things you can put in the bath for relaxing yourself lavenders and that sort of thing um so i've got a lot of those sitting upstairs that i've never put in the bath because i never have a bath but i'm gonna I'm gonna make a promise to you guys that I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna have a laugh it's one of these days, not right now, because that'd be weird. Um, yeah. Um, what else about Rachel? She was so great. She really, really was. Um, how is the bed's boy to uh, the boy's bedtime routine? Okay, I'm pretty strict with. Um, the old routine in this house it's kind of the only way that I felt I could survive motherhood <laughs> was to give the boys a really really strong routine so about 5 5 30 they eat dinner sometimes earlier if they've been at school and they're starving and I don't want to give them a snack because then they won't eat their dinner so it depends on how hungry everyone is um, and then I will uh, put them in the bath about six o'clock get them out of the bath bring them downstairs they'll normally have a little bit of milk and I let them watch a movie or a little show on TV um, if Hudson hasn't done his homework then I'll get him to read to me or finish off his homework and then back upstairs into bed cuddles little pat pats on the back sometimes they really like to listen to music as they fall asleep which is really cute 
Um, and anyone who follows me on Instagram will know that right now there is an obsession in our family on The Greatest Showman. So normally that is the soundtrack that's playing. I try and find the less kind of pumpy songs for bedtime, so kind of the, the relaxing, we call it the relaxing music. Um, but they love listening to music to go to sleep, so that's what's happening right now as we speak. Um, oh, they're called bath tea bags. Great. Thank you, Christy, for clearing that up because I was very confused there for a minute. <laughs> yeah, The Greatest Showman, my goodness. I've seen it four times, four times at the movies. Um, I know, I've never done that with any movie, I don't think. Maybe I did that with 10 Things I Hate About You back in the day, Heath Ledger. Um, but I don't think I've ever done it before that. <laughs> But yeah, it's a bit excessive seeing it four times. But it's that good. It really is. It made me want to quit my life, join a circus, and be in a musical. That's that. Those are the emotions coming out of it. Has anyone else seen it? Oh my gosh, Izzy, you need to go immediately and go and see this movie. It's so good. I should have my own talk show on TV. Wow, because I talk a lot. Is that is that why? Is that it's a lot of talking going on, I know. I haven't drunk any of my tea. Is anybody else drinking tea with me? It's tea with jewels. Somebody asked before um, who I've got coming up on tea with jewels. Um, is it a secret? Hmm, I don't think so. Um, I have my beautiful friend Julie, who um, is the founder of stylerunner.com. Now, for those who don't know who Style Runner is, it's an online activewear phenomenon, pretty much. Um, she sort of started it right as activewear was becoming kind of like streetwear and, and it was acceptable to be wearing your leggings around. Um, so, she started that stylerunner.com check it out it's like beautiful amazing activewear um and she's blitzed it she's done amazing with that so um she's actually going to be coming up next on the next tea with jewels and i'm very excited for that chat because she's a very very smart very insightful and um she has a lot of great things to say about being a businesswoman and what that kind of takes and and a lot of tips on uh, working on the online space as well also active wear because who doesn't love active wear so so comfortable i try when i go to the gym to go back home and have a shower before i go to the office or any meetings because i think when you wear active wear to be active it's not as cool to be going around being a sweat sweaty sweat machine all day <laughs> actually this week i'm guilty i did actually go to the gym and then went straight to the office and i it wasn't great no one came to see me because i'm smelly do i have any male interviews coming up that's a great question nothing against males but i've had a few males on um if you go back and, and check it out um in the history of tea with jewels i am not opposed um to having a male on the show um, but to be honest I don't have any coming up uh, but let me get on to that let me get on to that yes someone is he is he's just saying she like the one with guy and that was funny it's a real fight guys he really really he, he was in a bad mood that day <laughs> and my hair was so short I look back on that couple of weeks ago my hair was like up to here and I was blonde it's going through my Lara Bingle stage now I'm back to original jewels have some tea okay thank you someone said they're going to get their tea after their shower that's fair enough you guys are so nice to me Oh, my hair is growing. Yes, I'm calm and divine. You know what? You should maybe ask my family how calm and divine I am. 
for the time. I'm sure that will beg to differ. <laughs> People do say that to me a lot, that I have this calmness and I'm calming to be around. And sometimes I feel like a, I'm gonna say a swan, you know, like where you're, you're calm on the outside, but your, your legs are doing this under the water because you're like, okay, I've got a billion things to do. Um, so I'm gonna call myself a swan. And you'll get me, you'll understand what I mean. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not calm all the time, please. Would I ever consider writing a book? Yes, I would, actually. I would consider that. What do you think I should write a book about? I would love to know that. Um, fashion tips. Fashion tips. Hmm. I mean, there's a million. There's a million. Um, I would say be comfortable is my absolute number one rule, but you don't have to sacrifice comfort for coolness um, or comfort for style. You can still be comfortable and still be stylish. Um, it's very, very, very easy, easier than you think to, um, to be styly and comfortable at the same time. Um, sorry, I've asked you a hard question, what should my book be about? <laughs> um, well, you guys think about it and come back to me because I don't want to write a book that nobody reads, okay? my favorite brands and online stores um so many different ones it depends on what i want so um i'm a big fan of like the affordable asos and like zara and um top shop all those labels that are sort of very very on trend um, but you can kind of recycle through them fairly fast. So you can change it up from season to season because you haven't spent so much money on them. But I do love, um, I love to lash out every now and again um, and shop on somewhere like net a porter or Farfetch is another really good one. Um, that's for like a really special kind of occasion. Um, so I like to tell Guy to go to those ones to buy me things from there. And it's Valentine's Day coming up next week, so if you could also pass on the message that I would like something really nice. <laughs> What's my advice on deciding what grand ideas to pursue? Okay, good question. Really good question. Um, funny question, but can you sing? I'll get to that in a moment. Um, what grand ideas to pursue? I think... Um, I think don't jump into anything too fast um, and I also think don't quit your day job I say that because I did I did that I no, I didn't quit my day job I, I did the opposite of that I worked in a job that I didn't really love but it it paid my bills it got me by um, it you know paid for my car it it got me through my life so I was still a responsible tax-paying citizen of the world um, but on the side I was working as a stylist assistant and I was building up my contacts and I was building up my portfolio and I was building up all the relationships that I needed to one day go out on my own and start my own business um, so it was thought through um, I always say, you know, my career has been very haphazard. In a way, it has because um, I think a lot of a lot of my opportunities and career path has come down to a little bit of luck and a little bit of right place at right time and a little bit of just um, crazy serendipity of of life. But a lot of it also has come down to planning and hard work and. Um, having a vision of what I wanted to do and where I wanted to go. So I think um, never jump into anything too fast, but still jump into it. Be brave enough to put yourself out there and make sure that it is the thing that you love. If you're going to give up your job and your life for it, um, yeah, make sure that you love it and, and you want to work 24 seven. Um, okay, so going back to the question on can I sing? Um, 
Well, not really. I grew up in church and I just feel like um, a lot of people sing in church and that's what you do. I mean, you sing a lot when you go to church. So um, that's where I actually met Guy, who obviously is a really good singer. So um, we did meet in church and we did sing a lot. He, um, he was way better than all of us, absolutely like miles ahead of us. So I thought, you know what, go ahead, you go ahead, boy. You do that for your job and I won't. Um, oh, it still loves bringing sexy back. That was such a fun show. For anyone who hasn't seen that, I did a show. Um, I always remember when I did it because Archie was three weeks old when we did our first day of filming for that show. I don't recommend it. I don't recommend having a two-year-old and a three-week-old and then going on television. It was hardcore, but no regrets. And to be honest, it was a bit of a blur. I don't remember a lot of it because I was awake for about three months straight. Um, but it was so fun. It was a, it was like a makeover show and um, Samantha Armitage was the host of it. Cameron Burns was the um, trainer. And basically we helped people, uh, well, um, Cam helped people get really fit and um, lose the weight that they wanted to and I came in at the end and styled them up and for their big reveal so they sort of went into hiding and they didn't show their friends and family their new kind of body and we cut their hair and we made them over and we gave them new outfits and then there was a big reveal at the end of every show and, um, and out they came and everybody cried and I cried every week, every single week I cried because it was so moving to see people um, I don't know, just give it their all and be so happy with themselves at the end of it. And probably cried because I was just an emotional wreck from being so tired and having a newborn. <laughs> but it was so fun. Archie came on the road with me and one of my best friends came with me too. I'm on the road to help me with Archie and we somehow survived, but it was fun. I think some people tell me that they see reruns every now and again on um, on Channel 7. So <laughs> if you ever see Bring Sexy back, please tell me and give me a shout out. <laughs> You're a wedding photographer and you always cry. <laughs> I'm sure. Oh my gosh, weddings are my favourite. We're going to a wedding next weekend, I think it is, in Adelaide. One of our good friends is getting married from Adelaide. So I love a wedding. I just got a new sister-in-law a couple months ago. Guy's little brother got married, Chris, some of you might know him. He got married and that was the best. Had, um, Archie and Huddy were in the wedding, little, little page boy and little groomsman. It was very cute and I did cry as well. I'm a bit of a, bit of a sook, if I'm being honest. Someone asked me what my favorite Guy song is. Um, Ooh, good tips on what I could write a book about too. Goal setting, visions, most important things. Great, I'm going to write all this down. I'll give you a book, guys. I will. I'll do that. I'll do that before I die. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, guys. One of guys. No, one of my favourite songs of guys. Um, I would have to say it would have to be one of the ones that is written for me. Um... I don't know if that sounds conceited, but it would have to be, right? Um, the one he wrote for our wedding was ridiculous. It's called Perfection. And he sang it at the reception. And I don't think I've ever cried that much in all of my life. Um, so that would be... That, that one's like quite old now. It's like almost 10 years old because we've been married for nearly 10 years. Um, but I would have to say... Uh, Set in Stone would be the new one because that's also for me and I just keep telling Guy I'm, I'm an inspiration. I really am for, for all these wonderful songs. That's how good I am. <laughs> oh, someone six-year-old said they like my hair. Thank you. This hair is, um, it's all mine just in case you're thinking it's not. Um, and I just do it with like the little, I've got a curling wand. It's like all the way 
it's not one of those ones that can go like that it's just straight up and down i don't know the technical word um if anyone knows please tell me and then i just whip it around a couple of times and that's it looks like that but i don't know what line is <laughs> my hair doesn't always look like this i do not wake up with this hair trust me it's it's kind of a mess sometimes if i'm being honest This has been great guys because I am going to write a book. Apparently I'm a great singer, um, I have great hair. Um, uh, what I give some good career advice, you know, this is, this has been really good. I feel, I feel very encouraged and very loved. It's my very first YouTube live. Yay. We've got to do this more often. We have to do this more often. Oh, we love you too. We love you and Guy too. Yeah. In that order. Me and Guy. Yeah, I get it. I'm his better half. It's true. <laughs> okay, so when should we do this again? More often, okay? <laughs> I love only you. <laughs> I will not tell. Thank you, that's very, very sweet. <laughs> yeah, you know what, Guy's not on. He's just not even interested in being on my Facebook Live. <sighs> Do I like interior design? Okay, can we just talk about that for a minute? Yes, I, um, we're about to build, well, we are building a house at the moment. So, um, yeah, I'm about to get right into the interiors of that. We, we have a very clear vision. Thankfully, we have got have the same taste. So um, we have a good vision of what we want, but you now it's just gonna be a matter of putting it all together and I don't know, going shopping, I guess, and putting in all the things that we want in there. It's very exciting because we've been waiting a really long time for this. <clears throat> Will we have a studio, like a recording studio or like a photography studio um we will have a recording studio and when i say we i mean guy because nobody well i probably could get in there and, and he could auto tune me and then you might want to hear it but yes he will have a studio in the house because i don't think he ever wants to leave <clears throat> Can I do a, Hudson, a live chat with Hudson and Archie? <laughs> That'd be like this. <laughs> They'd be in and out. It would be a nightmare. It would be a nightmare. And they'd take over and they'd yell. <laughs> okay, my friends. Well, this has been so much fun. <clears throat> I'm going to love and I'm going to leave you because recording right now is Married at First Sight on my TV. I'm very excited to go and watch it. Is anybody watching it? It's, it's like a kind of like a train wreck, but it's awesome. It's my favorite show right now. So um, I understand if you didn't join me because you're watching that, it's totally cool. I get it. Um, but yes, let's come back and do this again soon. And I wanna say a huge thank you to everybody for your support for Tea with Jewels. I absolutely love doing it. I love the guests that I get to speak to and I love that um, maybe they can give you some good tricks and tips and life lessons along the way. So if I can be a conduit to good advice and good humans and sharing stories to you guys, then that's really, really what I'm doing it for. So I appreciate you guys watching and i appreciate you guys joining me tonight on a sunday night have a great week ahead and i will look forward to seeing you all again really really soon i don't know how to get out of here bye